Uh, let's get into this. Drake and 21 Savage. Now they dropped their new song, Soco Loco, and many believed one of the lyrics addresses the alleged shooting incident that happened between Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. The lyric reads, this bleep lie about getting shot, but she's still a stallion. Megan caught wind of the lyric and tweeted, and when the bleeping facts come out, remember all y'all bleep ass favorite rappers that stood behind an N-word that shot a female. Uh, I really want to get y'all's opinion. Um, what do you think uh, about Drake? You know, do you think he was throwing shots at Megan Thee Stallion? Uh, Al, let's go to you first. Well, oh, Lord. OK, so I'm going to be messy for a second because I need some answers. OK, my question is, what did Megan Thee Stallion do to all of these male rappers? Like first it was Tory Lanez. Then the baby shared how he popped the neck off. And now it's Drake and 21 Savage by association. And it's like, what's going on? Why are they all, why are all these men disrespecting her in one form or another? Like for me, this is just a question and maybe you guys could help me out. Is Drake, is this Drake's way of saying that he may have had relations with her too and got burnt? Or is he just clock chasing because this was his diss album because he didn't only diss just her, but he dissed Ye, he dissed Serena Williams, he dissed I, I Spice. Um, who else? And the Republican Party and Drum is his name, Drum. So what what's going on with Drake? I mean, what do you guys think? You, you know, well, as it relates to him, that's what Megan Thee Stallion. I have never heard that, but I will say this: I am deeply disappointed in Drake because thus far in his career, for the most part, he's been relatively non-problematic. And if you were going to diss anybody and rap about anything, it should have been about that alleged slap when Puff Daddy allegedly slapped the hell out of your ass. We've yet to hear anything about that in a doggone song, but yet you want to come for Meg the Stallion. And, you know, it, it, it's funny because it made me wonder too, you know, did, do him and Meg have some bad blood in the background, whatever the case may be? But this just doesn't look good. It doesn't look good for him being a man. It doesn't look good for him being as powerful as he is in the hip hop community. And it doesn't look good for the fact that you've been in the game all these years and have been relatively non-problematic and non-controversial when it comes to beefing with other rappers and particularly females. And then you do this. This was just a new low for Drake and, and I don't like it at all. But when he did have beef with other rappers, male rapper Pusha T, Pusha T won that as far as lyrics are concerned. That was the reminiscent of the old school battles. Pusha T lit that ass all the way up and maybe he needs to do it again. I like Drake. I like his music. And I was actually shocked that he came for not only Megan Thee Stallion, but, you know, Serena's husband. Like, it seemed like unprovoked um, mess. And maybe because his last album, remember a lot of people came for his last album, said it was like uh, it was giving... Um, uh, like house music kind of like they people weren't really feeling the album as much so maybe he felt like he had to come hard here's my thing yes there were a lot of questions surrounding the Megan the Stallion case with Tory Lanez we know this okay we've been it's been going on for what two three years and there is a possibility that maybe it didn't happen the way she recalled or maybe we don't know yet but why don't you stay out of it and cost air on the side of costume why don't you stay out of it until we know you know what I mean like I, I don't know why you jumped in like Tory Lanez doesn't need your help and I thought that was really whack. And I'm, I'm with you, Al. I don't know what it, Megan Thee Stallion has done to these men that triggers them, maybe because she's taller than them and stronger than them and has bigger mu I don't know. Maybe because she's not a small, docile, quiet, uh, you know, just meek woman. But she definitely is making men feel a certain kind of way because I have never seen so much hate for a female rapper than Megan Thee Stallion gets. And I'm like, did, she, I miss, did I miss something? Did she do something? that Maybe I she dissed them. Maybe she was like, oh, OK, I got what I needed and I'm good. She not chasing after them and they, they feel in some kind of way. They in their feelings. I just I just don't understand why all these rappers are trying to, like, embarrass her or humiliate her, you know, on a, on a huge platform like this. It's not adding up to me in my head. I think the only reason you would diss a successful, beautiful woman like that is if she's not giving you the time of day that you think you deserve. Dreamin' Edmund in the comments says Drake shades women who reject him. I, I mean, that's I Spice. That's allegedly what happened with that. Allegedly. So right. we will get, uh, of course, keep you guys posted as more develops.